Hello, my name is Patrick and this is CodeExpert channel. If you are looking for information about Adobe Commerce Cloud, then you've come to the right place. I'll be starting a new series on my channel that will be dedicated to Adobe Commerce Cloud. In the future, I will also be covering other enterprise features such as Live Search and AppBuilder. So stay tuned for more updates. And for now, let's focus on what is actually Adobe Commerce Cloud. Adobe Commerce Cloud is an automated hosting platform that allows you to effortlessly build, deploy and manage your commerce application. All of the cloud and project related configurations are taken care of by Adobe. They want you to concentrate on providing excellent products and features to your clients while they handle everything else. And if you've ever attempted to set up Magento or Adobe Commerce on-premise, I guess you are well aware of the significant effort and time required to um, establish and maintain that infrastructure. So we can say that this is, it is essentially a dream come true for us developers so that we are able to just concentrate on delivering um, new features without worrying about server configurations, maintenance and so on. And I've worked with the cloud for two years already and I can sincerely confirm that it helps to deliver faster and better. Almost everything can be configured because um, Adobe provides you with some configuration files that you can just use and adjust um, to your project specific and everything else is just um, handled by the cloud. And if any issue or question arises, you can always ask Adobe support team to help you. Now let's take a quick look at the tech stack and uh, in the upcoming videos, we will dive the deeper into it. When you apply for Adobe Commerce Cloud, what will you receive? As a foundation, you will get AWS or Microsoft Azure. You will get an infrastructure with PHP, MySQL, Redis, RabbitMQ and search engines like Elasticsearch or OpenSearch. You get a ready to use platform and without requirements to build an infrastructure and manage those services. So everything is already prepared and configured for you. Um, you also with that receive a, a Git workflow um, that you can also see how it works and it's pretty well described in the documentation of uh, Adobe Commerce Cloud itself. Uh, with that, you also get access to other tools like Magento Cloud CLI or um, um, ECE tools. Uh, so also everything will be uh, explained later. Uh, with that, you get configuration files that are basically the, the core of it, the, the core of Adobe Commerce Cloud, because with them you can basically change uh, like a version of OpenSearch or switch from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch pretty easy without actually worrying about how to set up OpenSearch or any other services. So you just configure it and Adobe Commerce Cloud will do everything for you. You get access to other services like Fastly, New Relic, uh, Firewall, image optimization and so on. But everything will be explained in the next videos. I believe this will be all for this quick introduction to Adobe Commerce Cloud. And in the next video, I want you to briefly explain what is software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Uh, so that you can easily understand the key differences among these three concepts and this will be also helpful for uh, the next uh, videos uh, because we will cover the differences between starter and pro plans so we will get an idea what you get with the starter plan what you get in the pro plans and actually those concepts will be uh, pretty um, helpful uh, to, 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 to know them uh, when we are going to talk about those uh, plans and also uh, it's always nice to learn something new. Um, so thank you for being with me and see you in the next video.